Hello to YouTube. And welcome back to the channel. Thanks to those that have subscribed recently. Much appreciated. Let's go check out what's in that box. What could it be? It's a mystery. Anyone else got kids, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Annoying. Anyway. <laughs> I am a little tad excited to see what's in here. So I'm gonna just have a little look here. What's this? What could it be? Oh. Hello cheeky. Ching. Very nice. Alright, put that back in there. Put that in there. Right. What? Ah, nice little wiring loom. Oh, hello. Cha-ching! Check out these little beauties. Tanktastics. Very excited. Now. Oh, this is just unreal. Let's get it all out. Let's have a gander. We have got traveling light drinks cup. Okay. Ooh, nice. Cheeky little reverse camera. Wiring loom. Another wiring loom. Well, hello there, beautiful. Ooh, JL Audio tweeters. Nice. Nice bit of matting, sound deadening. Lovely jubbly. You always break them. <laughs> oh, hello. Hello, you beauty. Good day, mate, and welcome to Loud Noises! Oh, yes, in you're gonna be beautiful. Oh, man, they look epic. JL Audio C1. Part of the kit provided by Traveling Light. Excellent. So there's two of them. Happy days. Anything else hidden away in this box? Oh, cheeky little key ring. Might have to do a little giveaway on that at some point. Not having my sweets though. Oh, now this. This could be something special. This could be. Oh, yeah, check it out. Check it out now. A bonk your brother. Get involved in that. So, this is the new RCD 330. Um, these are available for traveling light. This whole kit is available actually. Um, it's in a link in the description below. Let's get on with some fitting. So, you join me in the front of the van for the, what I would say, the easiest part of this um, fitting video is going to be, and that is removing the old stereo. First step is to remove 
this top panel. Um, so if I just take you in a bit closer, the trim tool in the back. And this just pops out. Okay, I'll show you the little clips. It fastens here, um, just slots into those bad boys. And what it does reveal is two torque screws. Now there's one at the top here and one at the top here. That will help you remove the whole of this fascia plate. What could it be? Oh God, do you know what? I can't get that stupid song out of my head now. Screws, put them somewhere safe. You're gonna need all of them again to put the whole thing back together again. Um, I just use this tray, so I take this tray out and then I put everything in that tray and then I don't lose it. Right, that is now loose. So again, using your trim tool, what you're going to want to do is run this trim tool, if I can get it in the top there, oy, around and down. Now, it sounds a little vicious, but that is literally uh, all the pop bit thingy majiggies popping out. So don't panic. Um, you shouldn't break it if you literally just work all the way around the outside. Now you can see it's loose. We're not just going to rip it off, we're going to just gently pull it out because what you'll have is a few things attached still like I do. So I've got my whatever that is, go around corners faster and to let you know that my airbag's on and my aux point. Four screws, one, two, three, four. Take all of those out. They will be the same size as the two screws you just took out the top. So it's a Torx bit uh, 20, I believe. Take all of these out. Remembering to put them somewhere safe. And that is now loose. So you can see that the head unit is now loose. Now I've had this out before. Um, and installed this one. This is the RCD310. Uh, I used to have a crappy little one with the pocket thing at the bottom. So what I worked out is that I can actually lift this up and spin it onto the top. Okay, um, these blue cables, if you can see these, these are my rear speakers which I popped in. Um, that cable's just, well, the sticky stuff is just so I know that that was the left and left. Um, but yeah, happy day. So we're going to unplug all of this from the back. So to release this, if you've copied me and popped it up the top there, there's a little pinch and that lever can pop out and that will just pop off. That's my aux cable as well. So that's all out. And then to remove your um, aerial, you can literally squeeze this little guy and should it'll just pop him off. And that is it for you, I'm afraid, fella. You worked all right. Radio stations were pretty crap. Uh, the only thing I used with it was literally the aux. So what I'm gonna do with, what I'm gonna do with, what I'm gonna do to start with is run the routing in for the uh, tweeters that fit in the front. Now, if you're like me and your van is a similar spec, uh, you won't actually have any, but you'll still have the location points, which is underneath here and again in that corner there too. So, to do that, we're going to need to take both A-pillars off. So, this bad boy and this bad boy. Now, again, don't be afraid. You're going to have to pull it, but you can literally get your hand up inside and pull it off. Happy days. And now you can just pop this off too. Using your trim tool probably is a good idea. But you can just ding, off it comes. So tweeter one is gonna go there and I'll sort that side out so we can get tweeter two in over there. Hey presto. Um, again, you can see these are the cables that are rooted in the back for the rear speakers. I didn't do a video on that, but it was pretty straightforward. Uh, if I can remember rightly what you plug in onto the back, uh, then I'll let you know. But if you're interested, I can try and 
add a little comment below and help you guys out if you haven't already fitted rear speakers. But saying that, um, Traveling Light do another little link um, that plugs into this again, um, which you can then run cables to actually put um, some decent setup in the back too. So I'll link that in the description below, be a lot easier. Okay, what I've done this side is just take out the glove box to try and give me a little better access to inside because I'm going to go, I'm going to have to thread obviously uh, the left tweeter in and under and through and the one on the right hand side, um, we will work that out when we get to it. Um, so to start with, I'm going to get this one fitted in get the cable run underneath and then we'll look at doing the big speakers in the doors you should always check instructions that's got one thing for you so I went and got the loom and realized that these bad boys go miles so what we can do is what we can do is thread them through where we need to go and connect it up a hell of a lot easier so, get your loom, put it on the dash, left, right. Let's thread these through, connect them up inside, and then we can tidy up the wires underneath. Okay, so, it's not an issue. I guess it's a little bit tricky. Um, I have actually just found, found, is this my trim tool that I was using? If not, I've just found another one. But there is one. No. That is an old trim tool that I've obviously used for something else that's fell down there, which is handy because all sorts of rubbish falls down there. Anyway, right, so what I'm going to try and do is get this bad boy in here. Now, I'm going to feed it around the back here because I'm going to struggle with finding a point that I can get this box through. Now obviously this is kind of like the power for this bit. Now I get that. I might even have to do some more stuff in a second, but I don't want to be yanking, pulling, pushing too much, but it does fit just through there, which means I can drop that bad boy in here. Now, underneath that bit. Um, now, I'll tell you what. Which way do these go? Under there. Yeah, get your head out the window and have a look. So. Just like that. Uh, I'm going to take you round and outside. I'm sorry. I was just talking to the window. I'm going to take you around and outside so you can have a look to see where it's actually fitted in. Uh, it's just slipped in there, but obviously I've got this cable to deal with. So, I'm probably going to have to decide a different route, because what I don't want is that cable getting caught by anything. <laughs> I was happy with that. I is happy with that. So actually, I'm happy with where the cable's gone. Um, so the cable itself is in this tiny little bit here. You'll you'll notice when you do yours if you're doing yours, uh, and then it can feed round and underneath. And then in here, where is she? Here she is. So that can go to the new loom that we'll be fitting on in a mo. Let's try now and fathom out how we're going to get that side through. What I don't want to be having to do is take too much of the dash apart because that will just do my nothing. Now, not too many issues. I've got nothing to complain about here because the whole kit itself is all just plug and play. Uh, the speakers are all connected up for you uh, the, with the looms, etc. And all you've got to literally do is just plug it in, switch it on, and um, listen to your new tunes or whatever you're going to do with your radio but this one going in this side is going to be a little bit of a pickle um, because I can't reach through anywhere to um, get the cable to go 
that way. So I'm going to have to go underneath, remove a couple of the panels so that I can reach up and inside and then thread the cable where it needs to go. So, I mean, camera trickery, I guess, uh, and editing skills of the Jedi Warriors. Um, I'd literally just whip this panel off and then the cable just pop through. So here it is, but it's got to go up and that way. So I'm going to try and reach up and thread it round somewhere. Now, if you are fitting this kit yourself and you're working on your own van, I get that people will do things differently, um, nicely, gently, all that malarkey. This is my own van. If something isn't up to your standard, don't copy, just reroute it your own way. Um, now, I'm gonna just get this done. I'm gonna get that routed through. I'm gonna reach up inside and try and grab it and fit it through. Wish me luck. So I've got my loom into the middle. I've threaded the right hand speaker through across to the other side and connected those up, which just leaves me this side to connect up in here. Um, foolproof really, one way only, clip, job done. Right, I need to tidy up these cables, and fit my glove box back in, just to at least get a bit of this mess tidied up. Okay, so what we're gonna do is fit the new loom onto the head unit. Again, you make sure it's in. Hang on a minute, that didn't sound like it went in very well. She is now in. She did go in, don't worry. We need to now fit the old loom, which is well, the, the existing loom, which is in the back of the van. Uh, am I going to keep my aux cable? Hmm. I think I will. I think I'm going to keep my aux cable on there um, because that might be quite handy. Although there is an aux on the front of this stereo anyway, so potentially I could have two or mine might not work. But it's not a big issue. I'm not going to cry about it. Right, so connect your block in, clamp it up shut. Now, so far, that's been pretty straightforward. If you haven't understood any of my lingo about push this, push that, then I do apologize. Right, so I'm just going to spin the stereo round and upside down so that I can fit my aerial cable. Aerial in. Now, obviously, there's a lot more cables now, but the stereo is half the size. So you should, theoretically, going to pop that into its space. Tidy. She is in. Right, four screws. One, two, three, four. Stereo is in. You may have noticed that I didn't fit the reversing camera yet. That's because I'm trying to get hold of a new, um, the handle bit, color coded. And what I don't want to do is fit it all, then I have to unfit it all. So that will be in another video where I fit it all, which is fine because this is quite straightforward to pop out anyway. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. That'll be another video. But for now, let's get the initial first on. Let's see what happens. Welcome to Volkswagen. Right, and so, by the looks of it, I've got to tune my stereo in. Oh, I can do that by hand. All right, let's try and get 98.2, which is radio one. So no source available, so I am going to have to plug in my phone, but we'll look at setting this up in a moment. All right, get that in nice and tight, and then pop your panel back in. 
Now, it kind of goes in the reverse that it came out. So you go in underneath the head unit space and the fascia plate at the top, and then you just push it down. Happy days. And then you can pop, like I've got this little thing that I use at the top here, and I can like dump in my phone like that. Right, let's get the A pillars and the covers back on and then we'll get sorted with the door speakers. In the kit you get four little black screws and you just want to get these guys in um, to hold the tweezers. Sit you. Um, what I'll do is I'll take the camera in now. I've got a screw point here. You can just see the reflection in the window. I'll do that up for a second. Um, and you've also got one here that you won't be able to get or well, I haven't got there isn't a screw point there so I'm going to just get these two done up and then I'll do the other side and then we'll just pop the covers on decent Apple Play okay Connecting through Apple CarPlay. Tom's eight, and there it is. So, you can use the mini dial to scroll through them all. Uh, you can also swipe on the screen. Um, there's obviously my <laughs> location, as it were. Um, you can go through your music, your maps, podcasts, audiobooks now playing. Um, Google Maps, Spotify, phone settings, WhatsApp messaging. Um, let's go back to that. So that's that's pretty cool. Uh, and obviously then you've got internet. If your phone's got internet, you've got um, Wi-Fi on here to enable the maps and things to work. Brilliant. Right, let's crack on with the speakers. Once you've taken both of these out, You'll be able to remove the handle. Just want to lift that out. I'm going to just pop out my switch for my electric windows. So I've removed the switch off the top. Right, next bit is you're going to actually sort of pull the door out. Um, hence why you get these in the pack, because you're probably going to break a couple. So, starting from the bottom. You want to get yourself underneath and pull and again from here there's another point just there and then what you'll find is your door is now loose okay and you're going to want to lift it out but you're not going to want to drop it down yet because so behind here You've got a little latch to pull open. You can just pull it this way, release, and you can take your door card off. If you've ever looked at your existing speakers, um, they don't look that bad. This is my aftermarket loom for my electric window, so I'm just going to tuck that out of the way. Or at least I'm going to attempt to tuck that out of the way. Tuck her up under there. I'm going to get the drill out in a minute. Wee okay, so. This is your um, speaker connection terminal bit. So we're gonna just loop that out of the way. Now it's riveted in, um, so we're gonna drill those rivets out. Now a good tip for this, if it's a proper hot day, still leaves your window up because I've just tested this one to see what's actually gonna happen. And you could get carried away and go all the way through. And what you don't wanna do, is be smashing a window. <laughs> Happy days. Right, here we go. <laughs> All right, so not everything goes swimmingly on camera. I uh, managed to absolutely bodge the hell out of that bottom one. Um, but the rest of them weren't too bad. So I'm just going to remove the old speaker. And then... Okay, so sadly... Although this kit is good and it's just plug and play, this doesn't line up to any of the existing holes. 
at all. Uh, it's almost not quite big enough. So, what we're going to do is carry on anyway. I'm going to fit some of this dead and in inside here on the back of the door. Because um, although this bit's, you know, you can remove all of this door panel and stuff, it's really tricky. Uh, I'm just going to get some of this in there. So I'm going to cut myself a piece of that off. Uh, I'm going to lay it inside. You get four bits of this in the kit. Um, so use it sparely this is really good stuff actually it's the um the dodo mat so very very pliable and sticky so i'm just going to drop that in there uh, pop a bit i'm just going to get a bit on this door um i haven't been able to get much on that door so i'm gonna, just going to do that which is good and then i'm going to pop a bit I mean, I've seen some people do it around the speaker. Uh, I'm not quite sure again on the benefits you get with that, but we'll go for that and we'll see. Um, we'll see what happens. So I want this to sit that way because um, I want it to plug in there, which is good to go. But obviously, I haven't plugged it in yet. So I'm going to go for the hole that's available at the top and make a hole at the bottom and make a hole in the side here mm, not much space hmm. okay right let's try and hold her there and get through that yeah i'm going to pop a hole in there let's just turn you so there and hold you. I'm going to pop a hole there and then we can pop another hole in a moment because I can use long rivets to get through. Right, so we need a hole here. Oh. Just there and just there. Okay, so and my little uh, rivet kit. I mean, I'll keep this filming to be fair, because it's, um, it's, I guess it'll be quite interesting to see what happens uh, and to see obviously if it works. We've got some real longings. They're gonna be good. Right, so. You can go in there. And you will line up wherever your hole is there. Okay. Now, I wasn't expecting to do this, but I don't mind. Because uh, again, you're doing something yourself for your van. Now, I'm not the best mechanic fixer upper but that is going to be held in like super glue super glue what the hell see it's been a long day i'm starting to chat loads of rubbish okay so what we've been able to do is get one in there one in there, one in there, and one down there. Got my other half of the dodo mat. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna cut this in half. So oh, this stuff's really pliable. <laughs> so I've got a, I put a blade in my mouth and started chatting. Didn't make any sense at all. Right, so this is quite pliable, so you can give it a good fold, and you can actually <laughs> bend it and rip it, and then you can do that. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this into little sections, I'm going to stick it all the way around, um, just to kind of seal off any like air holes or anything like that. Okay, that's one speaker in. 
Let's get the door card back on and let's get the other one done. So that's the first side done. The door card's back on. I have to say, even though I had to put some fresh rivets in and stuff like that, getting the door card back on was the hardest part. So now we're gonna work on this door. So I've got a screw in the middle here. I can line it up. Probably best off using a torch or something if you can't quite see in there. Now's the time to remove your electric trim buttons and things like that that you've got on the top, if you've got anything. Um, I'm actually using another traveling light kit here too. I'll put a link for that in the description below if anyone's interested in these puppies. Uh, these are pretty good. All right, so I'm just gonna pop these out if I can. Simply just lift out. And then as we had to do before, you need to release the door mechanism there. And this one has also got the um, plug for the sensor on the top of the letting you know the door's locked and what have you, whatever that says it's called. Right, back to the speaker install. What we're doing here is we're going to drill out the six rivets and then we're probably going to have to drill um, some new holes again for new rivets uh, for the new speaker. So I'm going to drill these out and then once I've done that, I'll get back to you. So they're all drilled out. So what we're going to do now is just peel and remove and that is the old speaker. I'll just give it to my little kid because she wants to play with it. Right. Uh, okay, so I've managed to get a whole sheet of the dodo mat in there. Um, I'm hoping this will work. But I'm just going to attempt to peel the backing paper off. Obviously without getting it stuck in my hair on my arm decent and then I'm gonna apply the top half of it and then I'm gonna smooth out the rest of it excellent now already and I keep putting my head in the way Already that's much better than perhaps the other side. Um, so all I did was literally roll it up, put it in, peel the whole sheet off, and I managed to get the whole sheet in that section on the door. Happy days. Okay, and now for the new speaker. So, it's gonna be the same as the other side. Um, this side won't suddenly fit better than that side, can guarantee that, but that's fine. Uh, so what we're going to do is line her up. Um, I, I guess she does look a bit better. I mean, I can hook up that hole. Yeah, I can't really. Uh, so what we're going to do is I'm going to drill out a top hole there. Let's spin that round. Uh, and we'll go there, that's fine. So that's the attachment, okay. So what I'm gonna do is go for a top hole here, get that riveted and fitted. Uh, we'll go for one on the side, one on the other side, and we'll just see how we get on. Okay, last bit. Uh, obviously we've got it plugged in. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some of this sound deadening in all the way around the speaker. Um, don't ask me why. <laughs> I'm guessing it's to like, um, perhaps stop some of the vibrations and stuff. Um, I've seen it on a few vehicles. I've seen a few people do it. I'm also guessing it stops kind of some of the air, um, you know, encloses the speaker a bit more, should I say. Okay, so I've got a few bits of this to do. And then, 
all it is will be refitting the door card itself making sure I get my electric windows around the right way and then seeing what she sounds like okay so we have managed to connect um, the phone um, the only issue I've got with obviously being able to test it is that I'm going to um, play a track that maybe is copyrighted so what I'm going to do is just leave the radio one I think which isn't the greatest of quality but it sounds okay so quite clear okay so I'm absolutely super chuffed with that um, comment below if you've just recently purchased one of these the video uh, hopefully will help you out um, it's really quite straightforward fitting actually um, it is plug and play the only downside I found was having to drill and re-rivet the speaker kind of pods into the door um, but that itself wasn't too difficult and that's it guys thanks for watching Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't, just hit the subscribe button, smash the thumbs up button, um, and go check it out. Go check out Traveling Light. The kit is really good. Um, the sound quality is so much better um, than what the original ones were, and and so it should be for for the price you're paying. Um, it's pretty pretty really good, and I believe. Um, if you get to it now, there's a small offer on it. I think I think they've lowered the price slightly. Um, so yeah, go check them out. This is Tom. This is T Dubs. Stay tuned for some more videos. Stay safe, and I'll see you all soon.